two of my closest friends at school, um, they're, they think I'm absolutely insane. You know, like, they're like, you're gonna go where and do what for the summer? Like, Dana, you need to like, really think about what you're doing here. Just make sure your waist strap is above your hip. So if it's not above your hip, just before. Uh, right here, um, we're doing rappelling at Indian Cliffs, so the boys uh, are able to rappel off the face of the cliff down to the landing. I run a group called EVAC. Uh, it's for experienced campers in Aquahonga who have done most of the merit badges that they need for Eagle or for their advancement, and they're looking for a little something, you know, more to the program. So uh, we meet every day for two hours, and we do more high adventure uh, things throughout the reservation and throughout the camp to, you know, get them interested in coming back to camp even though they're reaching their high school years and beyond. Nope. Uh, it's, I try to make the program a very logical, uh, you know, a build up so that like they'll start small within camp, learn about the history of Aquahunga, how things are run there, and then ultimately branch out into TMR as a whole. You do have to know a decent amount of stuff. Uh, basic scouting skills always help, not tying, uh, fire building, basic, you know, living in the woods skills. But um, you learn a lot as you go along, and I've learned a lot about camp and camping just from, you know, my experiences here on staff. Here at Scout Skills, the Scout Skills staff and the Cooking Mary Badge students um, all, all get together and we start cooking for the 200 people that are in camp right now. And we will cook turkey in the ground, uh, fried dough, pork on a rock, Dutch oven pizza, Cornish game hens, uh, potatoes of any and every kind, uh, grilled corn, and it just, it just, it's, it's great because everybody kind of comes around, all these fires will be lit and everybody just goes around with a fork and they just kind of, oh, we go over here, get some of that, and get some of this. And it's, it's, we call it the cooking mega event because it is a cooking mega event. Please join me in grace. Father, we thank you for the opportunities and chances that we get here every year at Scout Camp. And uh, amen. 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 All Guys, work for the back. We're going to pour it, all right? Guys, wine for me. Start blowing that. We're doing it. These are sausages. Good. Get a murder. You might be just right. Thank you. It was really good. It's awesome. I started on camp staff when I was 17. So, you know, definitely it was a new experience. My parents thought I was absolutely nuts. So like, we're sending our 17-year-old daughter to Boy Scout camp. Like, how is that possible? Good afternoon, Camp Red Good afternoon, I love it. It's that time again. Time for the trivia box. Every meal, I ask a trivia question, which usually corresponds to an area on camp or scouting in general. At the following meal, I reveal the answer and then ask a new question, and the scouts who get it correct get an opportunity to win a free slushy. The question I last asked you was, in the world there are two poisonous lizards. One of them is the Gila monster. The other is the Mexican beaded lizard. I do have some correct answers. Try the drum roll, please. Uh, Brent Van Aken from Troop 97. Yeah. So, for our oil spill, we have our three lakes or three oceans or whatever you want to think of them as. And we have pure oil. Pure oil. So, if someone go ahead and 
pour a little oil into all uh, three of our bodies of water. Environmental science um, here at our camp is the only angle required badge we offer, so it is kind of a step above the other ones. Um, mostly it's pollution prevention, conservation, using our natural resources, why they're important, and preserving them for future use. We cover things like hybrid vehicles and um, ways that we can help preserve the environment. It's, it's really a, a conservation-based badge. Try, yeah, try, there you go, perfect. Keep that string matched up with the surface there. So you see, if the string is matched up with the surface and the oil has nowhere to go, it will contain it. That, that's awesome, that's really good. So we're gonna move that string out of the way. And it all spreads out again. So you see the string does work. The rope is used for a reason, the rope with buoys that we toss out there. It keeps all the oil contained, it keeps it in one area. The 10 Mile River Scout Reservation has so much to offer, um, way more than anyone realizes just staying in one of the camps. We have three different kinds of tracks. The one kind of track is just a regular track. Um, the adults and youth can choose to go to each different camp and do their different programs. Like I said, they wanted to come here for our pool and go to Kiowa for their lake and then Ranaqua for their shooting range. They can do that and we'll take them around the entire reservation and they get to pick what programs they want to do. We also have what's called an extreme track where we avoid camps altogether. We stay at different campsites, we bring our own tents everywhere, we pack our own food, um, we bushwhack through the woods, you know, uh, finding our way with a map and compass and learning all about the different plants and animals and everything that's out there. Um, we also have a river trek, which is four days down the Delaware River. I want you to make sure you feel comfortable in the water. So when you're swimming, just take your time. You don't have to push. You don't have to get there as fast as you can. Just relax, okay? So I'm going to go with you. I'm going to go a, a very slow pace and I want you to try to not get too far ahead of me, okay? So if it means like you're gonna be watching me, then that's that's what's gonna have to happen, okay? So I want you on, on my right, because you like to look off to your left side, okay? We're both gonna go down and just relax here. All right. And then after this, we're gonna practice floating. You ready? All right, let's go. Uh, BSA lifeguard is a requirement, and to be a director, I had to go to National Camp School for Aquatics to become a BSA Aquatics instructor. It's a lot of time, a lot of des dedication for Aquatics staff because it's physically demanding. We work from 6:30 to 9 o'clock every night, unlike other areas. It's uh, a physically demanding job, and um, the skill set you need is just you need to be comfortable in the water. You need to be willing to learn. You need to be willing to work hard. And uh, ask questions is the thing I like to stress with my staff. Anything else, guys? Any other possible entries you can make? Um, eight, nine, plausible. Last summer I worked in Cope and Climbing, so I taught the Climbing Merit Badge and I instructed in Low Cope and High Cope, which is a week long of just team building and leadership training um, through like a series of high and low elements. Our directors, they go to National Camp School and they get trained to be directors. So they get trained and certified to certify and train us. So once we get here, they train us in belaying and you know initiative games to run the low cope course and run the high course.
I can definitely go home and say, I conquered this and I feel great. There's something that scouting does and the values that it instills and the skills that you learn here that you really just can't get anywhere else. Uh, I love scouting. I have to give back to the kids and that, I mean, we all love it here. Camp staff has been one of the greatest things that I've done. Um, I feel like I've grown so much and learned so much um, and I'm able to give back so much, which is great. One thing left to do then. <laughs> One fat head! A couple of